What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Falcon Blues TV. It's your boy Sachin here for the most instant of instant match reactions I've ever done because I just turned the fucking game off before it was even done. Uh, maybe they scored again, but Everton won, West Ham 3 at Goodison. I could say some cliche, cli I can't even speak, I'm fuming. Cliched shit, like I don't know what to say, but I have a lot to say today. Into the lineup, um, Beto for DCL and Onana um, in the midfield with Dekure, uh and same back four and the same wingers. And what a steaming pile of shite we are. This has to be a fucking social experiment. Just absurd. First half, terrible. You know, first five minutes we have possession, can't do anything with it. And then they get the ball and then they have a good chance with Alvarez who just sends Gardner down the river. Good save by Jordan. And then not too much in the first half, very boring. We get our first penal of the year um, from Craig Poss and didn't want to give it. Leon Osmond, super blue on the commentary, is like, it's not a, not a peno. It's a peno. Kurt Zuma has his arm out, like Bambi on ice over there. Um, and, and you knew what was coming. Beto steps up. Looks absolutely petrified. Looks like fucking Neville Longbottom in the second Harry Potter film after he sees the Basilisk or whatever. And just saves. Saves. Sa Misses it. I can't, oh, I can't even articulate. Um, so nil nil at half. Second half was more exciting. Go one nil up. Good header. Uh, and then, you know, we we're, we have chances. We're on the ascendancy. Dwight McNeil. I don't know how you don't score that. It seems like every keeper we face turns into prime fucking Manuel Neuer. From the first match of the year, Fulham with Burn Leno to now. Ariola had like four top saves, three of them on Dwight McNeil, one on Beto, and then same shit as last week, set piece, Kurt Zuma, header, just put it on the six-yard box. You know, I thought we were supposed to be good defending set pieces, but 1-1. One, one. At 1-1, one, one, I knew we were going to lose. No chance. We, we have some chances. Dom comes on, doesn't look terrible, but then Thomas Suchek. 94th minute, 90, 91st minute, who cares? You know, good goal, but no one closes him down. And then they get the third off the counter. But we are so bad. So bad. I know we got our four points back last week, but there's no desire. And Goodison was kind of toxic, but it was a little bit, a little undeserved, I would say, towards the players in the first half. Yes, they couldn't pass a ball. It, all, it looked like they all had the flu. But second half, very deserved. Their third goal, just can't complete a pass. You know, that corner kick in the 94th minute. Garner has a chance uh, to do it again. Does the same shit. Gets the ball, can't pass it. And then they go and score uh, the third. But it's just, it's just, this is just has to be a social experiment. We're so fucking bad. It just, it's just lucky that there are probably three worse teams than us. But we're going to get hit with the second charge. Three more points. So, you know, that's nine points gone. And I know we pick up draws, but we should be getting wins. But this match, you know, West Ham are dreadful. I know they beat Brentford last week, but they offered absolutely fuck all for the majority of the match. The chances they got were from our mistakes because we, we wanted them to score pretty much. And, I mean, we don't have a player that can run with the ball at somebody. They have Kudus, who played well today, Bowen who had a run in the second half where he took on two and then got the cross away, but it was blocked uh, initially by Tarkey. And we don't have anything like that. McNeil, yes, in the second half he came alive, but he looked incredibly lazy. Jack, I know I know people like him. I, I don't. But he offers energy, but I don't think he offers an end product. He had one good cross in the first half. But other than that, it's he's going to get the ball, but is he going to beat somebody? Is he going to run at somebody and, and get get past them? I don't think so. Or maybe one out of 10 times. Beto works hard, is a nuisance, but he can't, I know he scored the header, but he, he could have had a hat trick, easy, easy hat trick with the chances he had. Um, it's just baffling. Dekure, you know, kind of invisible today. Onana just, he's a good, Onana's a good player. He gets stick from the fans and I see why, because he takes a little too long on the ball. But he has, he's, he's so good with his clever movement to get past a guy. But then sometimes his final ball is just, it lets you down. A little pedestrian. I can see why the fans 
turn on him because they don't feel like he's working. He is a clever player, I think. I mean, I think Garner. Garner works hard. He had the assist, great ball. It's just, I just don't know what more Sean can do. He can't, you know, have a fucking magic uh, magnet that pulls the ball into the back of the net. Um, this lad came on. I didn't think he was bad. Um, it's just the team is the team is struggling from where we were in December to where we are now. It's just there, no one has confidence. It's just really poor. I thought you know the back line. They did. They played okay. I know we shipped three, but it's not like they were the reason we lost. I think it was a full team effort that we lost. You know, speaking of the back line, I don't like how our fullbacks don't do overlapping runs, and when they do do them, they're shite and they don't get the ball. And the final third is just pathetic. It's pathetic. It, you know, it's either a cross and inshallah, or a shit pass, or we go backwards. Our tactics seem to be give it a Tarky who just fucking pings it forward, or Pickford who pings it forward. And we didn't get the second balls today, which is what you have to do if you're playing that strategy. And it was just really, really poor. Um, weather outside is shit here. Zero degrees Celsius uh, and rainy, kind of like uh, Liverpool. But I'm going to go for a fucking walk because I'm fuming. Man United away next week, 4.30 a.m. here. I'm not going to get up and watch that because what's the point? Watch the replay. And, well, Everton are in the weekend. Other than that, have a great one, lads. Up the fucking toffees, Colin Chong.